I have been asked by a student the following question. If we take the mean of y in a simple regression, um, why is that mean of y the same as the mean of the fitted values? So that's, that's here. This is one of the, the properties of, uh, of linear regression um, that we should have a close look at. And uh, what the student means, first of all, is the following. So consider here that you have a sample of data in a two-dimensional space. So you have values of x and values of y. And uh, obviously the goal is here to fit the regression line that then describes the relationship between both variables. Now, um, what the student wants to know is um, if we take the mean of all those, of y of all those data points, so that's probably somewhere around here, why is that mean the same as the mean of the following? Um, suppose I fit a regression line through those points, and I take then, you can think of this line as just a collection of many, many points. Okay, these points are called the fitted values. So we have here the regression function are the fitted values, which is the following, which is just a linear relationship between x and y. And so, so the student wants to know why is uh, the, the mean of those fitted values, so the mean of all those dots on the line, why is that the same as the mean of all the blue dots? So why, why does that equality hold? And uh, let's first uh, think about why this might hold graphically. So when we have a, uh, when, when we um, estimate a regression with OLS, what OLS does basically is the following. It takes the point of the two means of x and y and that point, which I draw here in, in orange, that point is for sure on the line, on the regression line. And basically then by picking parameters beta naught and beta 1, so the intercept and the slope, it finds then a line that goes through that point and minimizes the sum of squared residuals. Okay, so, so let's say that's then the line that goes, goes through that point. And because that one point is always on the line, um, that's one of the reasons why those two means are the same. So it's, it's simply by virtue of OLS by virtue of OLS finding the optimal regression line through the minimization of the sum of squared residuals. We can also look at this mathematically. Um, the way it works is to follow. So let's first look at the mean of y, which is obviously um, the sum of all the y's of all the observations divided by n. Okay, and so we can uh, look at this uh, differently. So within the sample, this is nothing more than beta naught hat plus beta one hat x i plus u i u hat i. So u hat i are the residuals. Okay, that's uh, that's the sum of all the the blue dots in uh, in this graph. Now. Um, what we can also uh, then look at is the mean of the fitted values, which uh, obviously the, the of, of which just the formula for the mean is the same. Um, and then we can also look at what that is if we uh, substitute in the sample regression function, and the sample regression function is nothing more than beta naught plus beta 1 xi. And we can immediately see that there is only one difference in those two, and that's the residuals that we can see here. And so now uh, we can think about, well, under what conditions are those two the same? 
Okay, so what I can do is I can change this around a little bit and I can say this is 1 over n times the sum of this plus the average of the residuals. Okay, and so we can see immediately here now that if those residuals are zero, if that's if the sum of those residuals is zero, those two are the same. And in, a, in an OLS regression, that always holds. This follows from the first order condition of the uh, minimization problem that we solve, right? So we take the um, we we take the sum of squared residuals and take the first derivative um, with respect to um, uh, to beta naught, and that gives us exactly um, this condition that the sum of residuals in a re in an OLS regression at the minimum is zero. Okay, so because we find the optimal regression line through OLS, that always holds. Okay, so the, the, the first order condition that I'm talking about here is the following. So we, we first um, minimize the sum of squared residuals. So we minimize um, the sum of squared residuals, which is um, y minus beta naught hat minus beta 1 hat xi um, squared. And then we take the first uh, the first derivative of this with respect to um, to uh, beta naught, and so so what that gives us is um, if I take the the first derivative of this with respect to beta naught, what I'm left with is twice the sum of whatever is here in parentheses which is nothing more than uh, twice the sum of the residuals. And uh, at the minimum, it has, to, it has to be zero, right? Because otherwise it would not be a minimum. Okay, and so, so that's, uh, that holds when we use OLS. And for that reason, those two means are the same. So the mean of the blue dots and uh, the mean of all the dots on that regression line are the same.